Hello beginner trombone players. The purpose of this video is to help you master the skills on page six. Please begin by whispering into your trombone. I go first. Your turn. Next, we're gonna play out loud on a B. I go first, you echo. Then C. Then D. E flat. Then F. More F. Exercise number 21. I'm going to play through this whole thing, and then if you um, just pause the video and take your time. Number one is snappy positions, B flat to C. My turn. Then number two. Number three. Pause this video and do that right now, please. Moving on to Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. You need to use breath marks here. Breath marks are going to show phrases. A phrase is just a musical sentence. It's part of a song. Say the notes of the first phrase with me. Here we go. B, B, F, F, G, G, F. Remember, a G is fourth position. It's just like D. You're going to make that sour candy face. Try that G, please. <laughs> Good, good. Say the letters again of number 22. Here we go. B, B, F, F, G, G, F. If you need to think through those positions, pause the video and think through that right now. Otherwise, let's play. On the B, here we go. <laughs> How'd you do? Can you do that without me? Can you do that three times in a row with no oopses? Pause this video and find out. Next, we're going to take the second phrase. Say the letters, extra credit if you do the finger, uh, the slides. Here we go. E flat, E flat, D, D, C, C, B flat. If you need to study that second phrase, pause and do that right now. Otherwise, let's play. E flat, here we go. Fifth graders, I'm not gonna go through this entire song, but at this point, you've got a couple choices. You can do both of the first phrases. It should sound like twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. That's how you can check your answers. You can do both of these together, or you can go one phrase at a time. One phrase at a time. Please pause this video until you have done every single phrase at least twice. Moving on, the next song, it's raining, it's pouring. We need D right next to a G. We gotta jump D to G. So try that right now. Go D, G. See if you can do it five times. Four more, keep going. Go, go. You've got a DG right here. If it helps to circle those or write jump or write an arrow, please do that right now. Do that jump again. Your turn. Happens again right here. I go first.
Your turn. After you've done that, let's go to the last phrase. Last phrase. Say it with me. F, E flat, D, C, D, B flat. If you need to study that, pause the video, do it right now. Otherwise, let's play. Here we go. <laughs> If you need to do that again, pause this video and do that right now. This middle phrase, I am not going to study with you, but I like this one because it only uses two letters. Pause this video and play that phrase. By this point, I think you know my pattern. We're taking a phrase. You're going to say the letters, study the positions, and play it. You're going to use that same pattern with this phrase and the first phrase. Go slow, slow and steady at first. At the bottom of the page, this is rhythm counting. You've done these with Mrs. Cabes. And you can see in the video, this person wrote one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The rest still counts as one. Thanks for watching, fifth graders. I hope this helped.